Hey guys and welcome to all my Masternode fans out there. Uh, today we're going to do a video on how to set up a Vivo uh, Masternode virtual private server. So in this video we're going to concentrate specifically on the VPS side of things, how to configure the VPS. Okay guys, if you've got no idea about Masternodes or how to configure VPS or how to get your coins or how to set up um, any of your accounts to be able to uh, set up a VPS or get your coins or anything like that, Okay, please visit my other YouTube video, I'll add it into the uh, description below and watch the first 15 and a half minutes of this. It's literally step by step on the coin itself we're talking about, how to get your coins, how to set up a program called PuTTY which you need to log into VPS, the VPS provider that I use, how to set up the server itself and so on and so forth. It's literally step by step. So just follow along in that video guys and uh, we're just going to start this video. Now when we're going to run this, uh, we're going to run this server. So this is a brand new server as you've seen, for me to log into it from scratch. I'll add this uh, link in the description below and you can follow through these steps guys. Now I'm going to skip straight through to step number eight because we've already done all this previous bit before and we're just doing this video on the specific server alone. So copy, copy these steps. It's literally only four steps. Um, to run this server guys. Very very easy. This is probably one of the easiest Masternode coins I've, I've ever had to set up. Now this uh, this script has been developed recently to make it very easy for people to be able to obviously install and, and run a virtual uh, private server. Because a lot of the other Masternode coins they're very um, they're very mundane and it's very hard to set up as far as they all use Linux, okay, um, and all of them are command line driven. So you have to install everything one step at a time, command by command by command. You have to run certain things. You have to manually configure certain settings and so on and so forth. So most master nodes are actually fairly difficult to set up for your average person. Now, the good thing about um, someone like these Vivo guys are they understand that it's difficult for people to set up master nodes, and They've created this script for you guys to make it very, very easy um, to set up the, the virtual private server side. <clears throat> okay, so on, on this step and this step, when you run these commands, guys, there is an option there. You need to click uh, Y for yes and then enter, okay? And to paste these commands into your virtual private server screen, you just copy it, okay? And then right click in the, in the black screen and it'll pop up there for you. So we're just running this third command now. We're going to copy this last command. Okay. What these first three commands do, they just get the server ready. They update all the back end of the server. They update all the um, all the software and everything that goes with it. And this, this line here that we're about to paste in once this is finished, this sets up everything um, from the Vivo side. So it downloads the Vivo wallet. It runs the Vivo wallet. It connects to all the nodes. It installs a, a program called Sentinel, which needs to run in the background for your uh, for your node to be detected by the network correctly. So it does absolutely everything for you guys. Okay, there's only one other command, uh, one other thing we need to do specifically for the virtual private server. So I'll step you guys through that once we get to that setting. And again, guys, if any of this doesn't make sense, please go back to my other YouTube video, watch the first 15 minutes, 30 seconds. It tells you everything you need to get set up to get to this point. Okay, the last command here, we're going to paste that in. Enter. Okay, now we just need to press enter again because it says if you want to install the Docker, uh, press enter. That's the script name. Press enter. It'll start executing the commands. Now, while this is happening, the only thing you need to do in your local wallet, guys, in your local Vivo wallet, okay, if you come into tools up the top, go to debug console, and you need to type masternode space gen key. Okay, it'll generate you a key. Now what this key does is this tells your uh, virtual private server to sync up with the, uh, the your local wallet. So you get paid out to your local wallet. Okay, so we copy this option here. This is a gen key. You do need this, uh, you do need to save this uh, for the other steps. But we need to uh, paste it in here. So it says, please generate a master private key. Paste it here. So we paste that in. Okay, and press enter. 
And that's literally all you need to do from the virtual private server side. Everything else is in this guide, so please follow this guide. I'll put this link in the video description below as well. Please follow this guide through. Um, if you get stuck, obviously, uh, please revert to my other YouTube video because this guide is specifically about um, Vivo. It, it, it assumes that you've already got the virtual private server running, which we've just uh, which we've just showed you. We've just logged in and set up, um, and it also assumes that you've got your coins in your wallet ready to go, or you've already got your coins and you're about to withdraw them to your local wallet. So for everything else, guys, in my other video, it shows you how to create an account on Cryptopia, which is currently the number one volume exchange that this coin is listed on. Um, it shows you how to download Putty, which is the program to log into your VPS. Okay, so you do need those as well. So that's it, guys. That's all done from the video. Uh, the only other thing you need to do once you've actually set up your command lines and so forth is in your local wallet. You'll then have whatever you've called your masternode in here. Okay, let's say you call it MM1. You just need to right click on it. Um, or you can click on this part here and click on start alias. Okay, and you just click yes to this. Okay, now for your VPS, it will take maybe an hour or two to download, sync the wallet, run in, all that sort of stuff. If you come in here to your wallet and you see that it's not showing as enabled after a couple of hours, try and restart this alias in here again or give it some more time and check back at a later date. Thanks guys. Uh, hopefully uh, this video helps you a lot and if you do like it, please subscribe and uh, more content will come. Thank you.